Welcome to Ann Arbor and the Big House, home to one of the most storied programs in college football and the first one to win a thousand games, the Michigan Wolverines. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see, the astronauts taking on the number one team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the astronauts will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it out. It's Acker. He stopped at the 23, a couple yards short of where he would have been with a touchback. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. A first down for the offense. From the gun, the running back has it. Gets it past the marker. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. You open a drive like that, and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. They'll ride the hot hand. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. He's looking for an open man on second down. Working the middle, it's complete. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Wolverine. He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch it. And you can tell he trusts his big tight end. Air the football way down the field. Treat him like a wide receiver because you know he's going to go up, make the big play, get you in the end zone, score a touchdown. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. Takes it inside the 25, and he'll bring it back. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The astronauts offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. The option look. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The astronauts will bring the punt team onto the field. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. On the return, it's Stewart. Delivers the contact. He's going to get loose. They will get him in. It's a touchdown. He did that one all by himself. Make a few guys miss. Turn on the afterburners and boom, everybody's playing. And that's why you got him back deep, because that guy can do that. you got to be explosive and quick and have good vision. And you see all those things on one punt return. Takes it back to the house, makes people miss, turn it on the gas. Great job, great return. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. So his big play capability was on full display in that one as he took that punt back for the touchdown. Takes it inside the 25. Chance for great field position. 
Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. This drive will start at their own 27-yard line. He'll ride his man on the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays, now to try to throw it in drive on third down. He's looking to throw. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And the astronauts send out the punt unit. The last time they punted, it went back for six. Running it back, it's Stewart. Touchdown, Michigan! How about that special teams play? And what a nice job by the punt returner. First thing he does, secures the catch, and you can tell they set up the return. He reads his blocks really well, turns on the afterburners all the way to the end zone. Special teams coming up with a huge play. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up? catch the ball, get us some yard. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The astronauts want to pick up the tempo. On second down, they'll take to the air. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Running back goes in motion. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the astronauts will send out the punt unit. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. They barely get the punt out of their own territory. It'll be marked down just outside the 45. First down for this offense. Lasso. Last Quarterback checking off. Pulls and fires complete. And that had all the makings of bug meat windshield but how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first and that's why qbs love their tight end so much right especially when they're athletic because they make short throws turn into long gains because of his ability after the catch it's so unique and special he is dominant in this offense offense gets set for second down e -blue. E -blue. on the option 
and he keeps it himself. A good decision there, and it gives this offense a first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least. And he breaks into the open. Touchdown, Wolverine. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And this offense has started the season off so good. 1-0 oh, a week ago, right? Now building on it again. Great job putting points on the board. It's still the first half, but this unit looks dialed in. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Leaves it with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. The give to the big fullback. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the big house. Crank up the second half. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. Huge deficit to start this third quarter. They just need to find something to build a little confidence. Yeah, it hasn't gone well. Um, when you're trailing by this much, this first drive, man, does everything matter and hinge on this? Because every possession in the second half is going to be critical. Yeah, and I think if you're on offense, why hold back? What are you worried about? Nothing went well in the first half for you. And at this point, trailing by as much as you are, throw caution to the wind, be aggressive, and let's just see what happens. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Free snap motion in the backfield. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go with the QB design run, but nice job defensively. They were not fooled by it. They were physical up front. Guys defeating blocks, able to get that tackle for loss. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. Ball in the air. Intercepted. Taking it the other way. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick, and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down. They can be in position. They don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, Michigan! And the beatdown has ensued. Another nice drive put together. And this offense through two weeks, man, they look legit. This team's about to be 2-0. All of their dreams in front of them. This team looks like a national championship contender. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Balls it in inside his 20, and here he comes.
Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him. Maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll run the option. Now the pitch. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. They'll finally make the tackle, but that option was executed to perfection. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Goes to the option. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand this. And that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. He's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that separated right. Now on the option. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Here comes the option. He just has a nose for those little crevices to be able to find space, and he picks up the first down. If I'm building an offense in today's football, it's not around a quarterback that can't run. I'm going to find an athlete that I can give the ball because defensively, it starts to limit your coverages. It starts to limit what I can do. It makes me play the quarterback every single play. Just makes your job as a defensive coordinator extremely hard. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Here on third down. Pound 55 weeks. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. A third down play to open up this quarter. Here we go. Looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And this game is obviously out of hand. Yeah, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Look at the big fella roll. Touchdown, Wolverine. And the defense doing work. Great heads up play by the defender there. He saw the ball on the ground, didn't just jump on it. He was able to scoop it up and had a convoy ready for a touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Ohio State is currently ahead in this one, but they're not exactly putting the Buckeye leaves on those helmets just yet. This is a tight one in Columbus. They're up by 10 over USC. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Michigan has long had defenses built on discipline, carrying out their assignment, and they have done that to perfection today. Carry out your assignment, do what you're supposed to do, but do it with bad intentions. That's what I like. I like the physicality. They're, they know where to go, and the ball is loose. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. 
Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up, you're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big time break for the offense. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Trying to get to him. It's incomplete, but here comes the flag, and I think it's going to be a first down. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. Going up top on first down. Almost had the completion, just missed it. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going, and never built the momentum. This is this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully. You can. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the twelve. And I bet the frustration meter for this offense is so high. If you can't keep your quarterback upright, it's hard to move the ball. It's hard to score points. This offensive line has not protected him at all, and that's why so many sacks keep happening. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Slips through the line, and the returner goes down. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. This is quickly turning into a celebration, Jesse, as they've taken control of this game. And they should feel good about how they've played. They knew they had to come in here, protect home turf. They've gone out, they've run it well, they've thrown it well, David. Really, so much that this coaching staff can be happy about. Yeah, and now it's about stat padding, right? Like, you could just put up more numbers. You know this game's pretty good. Don't turn it over, don't make a mistake. But this game is well in hand. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. On the and they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Let's go! Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's loose. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, okay. trying to get touchdowns. And they probably don't need to risk running a play here, but the head coach might want to rub it in just a little bit. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better, they go out, they take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your unit. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another...